Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Dragon Age The Ville Guard. We're going to start by optimizing Windows. After that, we're going to look at your NVIDIA parameter. And after that, we're going to go inside of the game. So now for Windows, we're going to start by writing settings. And we're going to go to the settings of Windows 11. We're going to start by gaming over there. So the first one is Game Bar. This one I really recommend to deactivate it. It's causing issue and also you're losing some FPS with it. Except if you have a Ryzen uh, CPU, the 7900X 3D or the 7950X 3D, they're using uh, the game bar uh, to prioritize your CCD when you're playing video games. So super important to use that if you have those processors. If you have any other processor, just deactivate it. After that, we're going to go to graphic. We're going to change default graphic setting over there. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Super important to do that. We're going to go to gaming again, capture, capture, make sure that everything is deactivated like this. So uh, you want to save all your resources. And the last one is game mode. Now game mode, honestly, is really, really good. Back then with Windows 10, it was a bit sketchy and a lot of like stuttering issue. But now you really need to using it uh, to make sure that all your resources are pri prioritizing your video games. Another thing that I recommend, we're going to go to system is your power uh back then uh, we were recommending to use the best performance but now honestly just use balance you will have better boost clock longer boost clock uh, i did a couple of benchmark balance versus per best performance and honestly i'm getting better result with balance so super important to do that Another thing I want to mention is some recommendations. So make sure that your uh, XMP profile is activated if you have it on your BIOS, super important. Make sure that you download the latest uh, chipset driver for your CPU if you have an AMD or Intel. Also make sure that you update your BIOS to make sure that you have all the latest update from your uh, CPU or your uh, uh, motherboard provider. Make sure that you have your Windows update up to date. And the last one is also make sure that you have the latest driver from your GPU. So if you have an NVIDIA card, Radeon or Intel, super important. They always push new update and they optimize a lot of stuff in it. So now let's go to the NVIDIA app. The first thing that I want to recommend, uh, I'm not a huge fan, honestly, of the um overlay so nvidia overlay i really recommend to deactivate this one sometimes it's causing issue like stuttering you're losing some fps with it so i really recommend to deactivate it also we're gonna go to the control panel i'm gonna show you some optimization that you can do so we're gonna go to the manage 3d setting first so the first thing that you should definitely activate it is your low latency mode make sure this one is at on Another thing that I recommend is your power management mode. This one, pretty much the same thing than the, the, the one from Windows. Make sure that you're using normal. Don't use the maximum performance. I'm getting also better boost clock, more FPS with it. And the last one is your shader cache size. By default, your cache will be a driver default like this. And normally it's 4 gig. Uh, I recommend to start with 10 if you don't have a lot of space on, on your computer. And if you have a lot of space, go with 100 gig. Honestly, it's a game changer for your cache size. Uh, you're going to struggle less with stuttering and also that your game need to recompile and stuff like that. If you install a lot of game, uh, this one can be very good for you. Now let's go to change resolution. The last one, really important to make sure that first of all, that you're selecting the uh, monitor, uh, that uh, first of all, you're using the native resolution of your monitor and also super important to have a proper refresh rate over there. Uh, by default, sometimes when you just change your monitor, it will be at 60 Hertz. Uh, so depending on the type of monitor that you buy, 144, 240, make sure that you're selecting this one. This option also, you can change it on Windows or your Radian driver if you have a Radian car. So no problem with that. The last one is your G-Sync. If you want to activate your G-Sync, really important to select the monitor. It needs to be compatible and you will enable over there. Uh, I'm not using G-Sync me. I always unlock my FPS because I want the lowest input lag. But if you don't like those steering line, definitely activate your G-Sync over there. So now let's go back to the game. So inside of the game, so for random mode, I really recommend to play full screen to have like lower input lag and also uh, optimize your FPS. Make sure that you're playing native on your resolution. So depending on your monitor, in my case, it's 1440p. Refresh rate, make sure also it's native. So 
if you're supposed to have a high refresh rate, make sure it's over there. I uncap my FPS. I don't use VSync and triple buffering. It adds input lag. You can also use other technology like G-Sync and FreeSync, or you can use VSync if you don't really care about your input lag. Uh, it can help with your tiering. After that, for the upscaling method, you have four different uh, options. So the first one, I recommend to go with DLSS if you have an RTX card and go with quality mode. Uh, weird thing over there, normally the render scale follow your quality. So for example, quality at 70%, it locks in gray at 70. In this game, it doesn't change anything. But when you change the, uh, um, the slider over there, it will help you. You will see that you're... FPS will be improved, so ultra performance is going to go at 270. You can even lower your render scale if you want, uh, but the, <laughs> now it will, your image quality will be pretty bad. So my recommendation is 100% and go with quality. You will have a pretty good image, honestly. DLSS is doing a really good job. And also, if you have an RTX 4000 series or more recent, definitely use the frame generation. It, can, it will boost for... It will boost your FPS for like 40% in this game. It's pretty amazing. And make sure that you activate your NVIDIA Reflex. Pretty much the same thing if you don't have uh, an NVIDIA card or a RTX co compatible card. Go with FSR. Go with quality mode. And it will do uh, the job. So let's go with DLSS over there. Now let's go in the graphics section. This one is weird. A lot of graphic doesn't seem to like apply in this game. So anyway, we're going to start by texture quality. This one I recommend to go with medium. You have uh, some level of detail in this one and you're going to lose FPS if you go higher than medium. Medium is a good compromise, good image quality. Also make sure that you have uh, VRAM over there. Uh, make sure that you're not at like 105%, something like that. And your texture filtering, make sure that you're using ultra. Lighting quality, this one again, really weird. You're going to lose 2% at ultra, but after that, it's pretty much the same amount of FPS and you can see an improvement in your image quality. So go with eye, contact shadow, go with on. Ambient occlusion, uh, you can expect 2% boost at off, but honestly, the game looks very flat, so I recommend to go with HBO full. SSR on, volumetric lighting, this one is crazy and like... Some Ubisoft game <laughs> you can like improve your FPS for 10-15% with this setting. In this game, it doesn't change anything. So go with Ultra, Sky Quality, also Ultra. For the retracing section, I recommend to go off everywhere and it will tank your FPS like crazy. So not a fan of it and it's not worth it in this game. Level of detail, I recommend to go with I, Ultra. Uh, you're going to lose 3% and after that, it's like 1% for each bracket. So... This one is a good one to use. Strain air, go with on. You're going to lose like 1 to 2 FPS. And honestly, you're going to see a lot of noise in your air at off. So go with on with this one. Uh, texture quality, I recommend to go with ultra. Uh, the terrain decoration quality, I. You're going to lose 2% at ultra. And after that, it's pretty much flat for your FPS. So go with I. Visual effect quality, this one um, was really surprised. Normally... Uh, when you're fighting and stuff like that, you see your FPS drop, but I didn't see a big difference, ultra versus medium. So definitely this one, go with ultra. Depth of field, I recommend to go with off. It's question of preference. It doesn't help pretty much with your FPS, but if you want like pure visibility and a clean image, honestly, I'm not a fan of depth of field. I'm not a fan also of motion blur, so I deactivate it. Vignette also go with off. Post processing quality, eye is a good compromise. Again, ultra, you're going to lose 3%. So this one should be fine. And feel of you, I'm playing at 100, the default. If you go iron in that, you're going to lose FPS. So you need to make sure that uh, if you're struggling with your FPS, don't go too crazy with your feel of you. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my Dragon Age guide. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.